zinc is a great electrode substance, except for one thing. In the alkaline solution, it, uh, which we have, even though it's pH 12 or 13 instead of 14, it forms a soluble ion before it turns into zinc oxide. Uh, the zinc oxide isn't soluble, but the uh, hydroxide zinc ion is. And uh, one of the big problems that everyone's always had with that is uh, trying to keep the zinc ions as they recharge from wherever they've gotten to dissolved from growing dendrites. So you're, you've got a plate and you get a little bump and then it, the zinc wants to charge out onto that bump more and more until it's passed through the separator sheet and shorted to the other electrode. So what substance can we use? Uh, how about uh, this one I'm sure you've heard of? Sodium dodecobenzene sulfonate. Must have heard of it. It's in uh, lemon fresh sunlight dish soap. If you can't buy it, you could get it out of the dish soap. So what we're going to do is, that's something misleadingly named chromatography of a sort. So we put some dish soap on a shallow slope object. That's a bit steep. Make it a little shallower. Pour a little water on top above the dish soap. And of course much of it just runs off because it's only a piece of plastic, not an actual column for doing columnar uh, chromatography. <laughs> So what we're going to have is the heaviest substance and the one that's least soluble in here is going to be the sodium dodecobenzene sulfonate. And we're going to paint the separator sheet with that so that the zinc ions can't get through the separator sheet. So now most of the soluble stuff is going to run down to the bottom here and a lot of it will run off onto the counter. Sure. <laughs> so the water's already running off onto the counter there. The soap's starting. And we'll be left with some uh, of the less soluble sodium dodecobenzene sulfonate up here. Or, as I'm starting to call it, SDBS. <laughs> Of course, this is all going to take a few hours. So here, after uh, overnight, the dish soap has worked its way down the plastic sheet, and a lot of it has run off, and it's all dried up. And I believe the uh, the sulfonate is the part that's the least mobile here. So we'll scrape that off. probably more down on the sheet here that didn't run off, but I'm not sure. This is probably the purest stuff up here that didn't make it to the bottom of the sheet. We'll scrape that into a little jar for use later. <laughs> 